And we are live. All right, we're live, we're live. Hey, what's going on everybody? YouTube, hey, what's popping? Instagram, hey everybody over there. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful uh, weekend. It is a relaxing weekend here at the house. I got my comfy cozies on today and uh, watching some football, just kind of relaxing. It's awesome. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for joining us for happy hour. I'm super excited about uh, what we have going on today. It's one of my favorite drinks, so uh, I'm excited about that. Y'all on uh, hello, Instagram. Hi, waving. Hey, yeah, good to see you all here. Hopefully you guys are having a relaxing weekend, you know, um, got up early this morning, did some, uh, did some golf this morning, it was perfect, did some golf this morning with my, uh, with my brother and, and uh, a couple friends and it was just perfect. We were already done by noon and so I had all the rest of the day to kind of relax, it was great, but um, anyways, before we jump into things, uh, if you could... Let me know in the comment section there in the live chat that you can hear me and see me. That would be perfect. So uh, so that way I know you guys are seeing all this greatness that is about to go down. So they can exciting. hear you and see you over here? Yep. Mike says four by four. <laughs> perfect. Uh, Instagram, you all can hear me and see me, yeah? Yep. All right, fantastic. Hello oh, here snap. comes Bruce. Bruce is coming to say hello. Yep. <laughs> Trish is like, where's Bruce? Bruce is right he here. Look at him. He's so big. He's, He's ready for a nap. Boy. We played yeah. at the park. Ooh. Yeah. Chase he ran balls. and ran and ran and ran. He's such a good boy. Hey. Thank you for the kisses on my nose. All right. So today, if you didn't get a chance to check out the tile, we have a red wine punch bowl. Okay, it's it's base it's a sangria, you know what I mean. Um, so we wanted to do like a, a punch bowl for the holidays, um, you know. But we're gonna kind of size this down a little bit, you know. Obviously, we got the quarantines and stuff like that going on, so you might be celebrating in a small group or even by yourself this year for your holiday party. Uh, but that's not to say that you cannot enjoy a punch bowl drink. But at the same time, if you are uh, having a few more people over, this is one of those recipes that you can easily put into like a large drink dispenser or a punch bowl. And being that it's red, it's kind of creepy and spooky in a way. And you can add all sorts of fun little uh, garnishes to it. I was at Party City yesterday. Happy birthday to my mother, by the way. Yesterday, we celebrated her 60th birthday. Um, and she still gets carded more than I do. It's that Filipino, <laughs> it's that Filipino magic thing, you know, where they never age or they age, they age, they do. They look 23 years old. And then one day they look a thousand years old. <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> they go from long, black, beautiful, silky hair to little Afro. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens <laughs> but they still have to have their chanel yes yeah must have their chanel <laughs> mike says i'm sure she loves you announcing her age she <laughs> i don't know that she cares at all <laughs> she's like yeah i'm 60 look at this Woo that's actually exactly that is, what she that is exactly did. right yeah she, what okay so anyways, um, let's jump into this sangria. We're going to kind of dial this down from a big punch bowl um, because I'm not doing like a big party today. Uh, but you can use the same recipe and just make it bigger and bigger and bigger, as big as you want to go. So we're actually going to do this sangria in a decanter um, today. And then if you wanted to make it bigger, by all means. Now... What we're gonna do for the wine is we're gonna be using Boda Box Red Volution, okay? This is the uh, secret weapon for doing wine with large crowds. Because as you all know, after about the 
first second bottle. first or second <laughs> bottle. Nobody knows <laughs> nobody what you're cares. drinking anyway. Nobody knows. Nobody cares. Whatever. So you know, what I mean, especially going to be having all these other ingredients in there. You know, like the brandy, the lime, the orange juice, simple syrup, all this stuff. It, it it's not going to make the wine. You know, you're not going to taste the wine itself on its own. You have all these different fun garnishes going on. Oh, yeah. So speaking of Party City yesterday, I was over there, and they had ping pong balls with eyeballs printed on them. That's cool. So this will be a super, super fun thing that if you do a punch bowl, hit up like Party City, get the package of ping pong balls with the eyeballs, and maybe you can do like a beer pong thing with this and it's kind of spooky because it's red or you can just put it in there some dry ice at the bottom or whatever it is and now it's a cauldron of eyeballs and it's cool. super fun okay yeah. so just some fun ideas for the holiday uh coming up here okay so uh let's go ahead and jump into this uh red wine punch bowl okay so we're gonna do two bottles of wine uh in this since we are using the boat box to measure out that 750 milliliters I'm going to be using uh, this big measuring cup here, okay? So let's go ahead and get that going. Okay. Who would have thought you'd be pouring wine <laughs> into a Pyrex measuring cup? <laughs> I'm classy, babe. So classy. So the equivalent of two bottles. Yep. So if you are doing, just a quick little tip, a little side note, if you are doing Boda Box, they make, so the Boda Box we have is the box. What's cool is, so this is four bottles of wine. If you bought something called the Brick. It's smaller. Two bottles of wine. Yeah. yeah. So they it's do the two, box. Yeah, I'm sure it's two. They do the box and then yeah. they do the brick. Yeah. Uh, the brick is at least two bottles of wine. Yeah. It might be it might one be and a half. Yeah. No, no, not three. It's gonna be like one and a half. It's gonna be, it's gonna be smaller. Uh, yeah. Those are perfect for stuffing in your golf bag before you hit the course. <laughs> Just saying. All right. Okay. So we got one bottle of wine in there. Let's go ahead and get this other one in. There we go. A little bit more. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Look how beautiful deep yes. red that is. That'll do it. Yeah, I know, right? Creepy. And a little aerating going on while you're at it. I know, right? Oh, it's gonna be tight. Ooh! Ooh. We might need that bigger decanter. The big one, huh? We're gonna have to use the Vitamix. We're gonna have to use the Vitamix. This is improvisation. This is live TV. <laughs> this or should is we just use TV. the, uh, <laughs> the bowl? No, we'll use that. Okay, we'll use this. Okay, so we're gonna use this big pitcher because we are running out of room in that. Trust me, it will be used. <laughs> All right, so this is uh, this is eight cups. This will definitely do the trick. So. Yeah. We have 2,000. Let's uh, just put the rest of our ingredients in there. Yeah, this will work. This will work. Okay. So, more aerating. <laughs> that was the plan. <laughs> oh, man, and I'm going to have to drink all of this tonight. Oh, boy. I'm just kidding. I don't know about that. All right, so that fits perfectly in there. All right, so the next thing, we got two bottles of wine in there. We're going to do two ounces of brandy, okay? And for those that just joined, can you tell them what we're making? We are doing a red wine punch bowl. Basically, we're doing a sangria, okay? Uh, we got the creepy holiday coming up here. Halloween is right around the corner. Did you do two or three of those? Hmm? Did you do two or three of those? Um, so we wanted to do a kind of a punch bowl, something that you can make into a punch bowl, but also you could kind of, uh, lower that quantity down. So those of you who just chimed in, that is what we are doing today. All right. So we have the simple syrup coming up next. We're going to do four ounces of simple syrup here. 
And this is the homemade simple syrup. The Demerara simple syrup. Mm -hmm. This is the one that you guys will see us use quite often. There we go. Beautiful. Nice, nice. All right, perfect. Three I'm ounces. Saying that it sounds delicious. Oh, if you like, if you like, uh, not I wouldn't say ports, but I mean this has like everything in there. If you like sweet, semi, not super super sweet, but you like sweet, smooth, robust. You like wine. You like liquor, you like sweet drinks, you like mixed cocktails. This is like all the fun Happy things. In a glass. This is just everything all in, <laughs> all in there at once. And then, you know, of course, you know, you pour it over ice, you pour it fresh over ice, and it's just awesome uh, every time. And then you're garnishing it with, you know, all these other fun fruits and stuff. So it, it just, it gets better and better and better. And the cool thing is, too, like with uh, sangria, you can do a white sangria, you can do a red sangria, you can garnish it with honestly what ever it is that you want to, you know, so it's one of those things that is just super fun to make. All right, so we're going to do three ounces of the triple sec. As you guys have seen, you know, on this, I, I gravitate more towards like the sweet and smooth drinks versus like uh, a lot of the uh, sour or bitter uh, drinks. And if you're right alongside my taste buds, then this is going to be like right up your alley. You know what I mean? All right, we're going to do three ounces of orange juice. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. Hey, it's kind of nice that it's already in the Vitamix container because I'm just going to throw this onto the blender and it's going to just do a light mixing for me. That'll be perfect. And then we're going to do one. Uh, you can do one and a half to two ounces of fresh uh, lime juice. Okay. So it's probably going to, you know, one and a half to two ounces, depending on how, you know, how much you like lime. But I'll just kind of go in the middle there. One and three quarters. Ran shot the biggest of fan <laughs> of the tartness. <laughs> yeah, it's the tartness. Dana loves it, but yes. you know what I mean? And since Dana loves it, I make it anyways. <laughs> and, I, and I act like I love it too. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, what we're going to do is we're just going to toss the lid on this. I'll do that. Mix it up real quick. Your garnish is ready. All right, perfect. Thank Careful. you. That is heavy. Yeah, it's full. That is full of deliciousness. All right, so we're going to garnish the glasses here. Doo -doo. We're going to garnish these babies up. We're going to do a couple slices, one orange, one lime. Oh, one orange, one lime. There we go. You could almost... You could almost turn this into a mold wine, like if you added spices into it and let it sit on the stove and simmer. Right. Ooh, that looks yummy. There we nice are. little mix. There we go. Okay, so we got Some nice little orange slices. Actually, I'm gonna go for this bigger one. That one's more. I like that one more. <laughs> Since I'm making these, I can be picky, right? Perfect. And then we're gonna do lime, a couple lime slices. Oh, that's gonna be perfect right there. Look at nice cut for knives. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's go ahead and we're going to pour this over ice. Don't be shy with the ice either, okay? 
because you can always come back for seconds. <laughs> you have ice left over, and you can always just fill it back up. You know, that's actually one of the things I like about this is you don't have to keep this, like, cold or anything like that, you know. Just serve it over ice, and you're good to go. So if you're putting it into a large, uh, like, drink dispenser or anything like that, super easy as far as that goes. Okay, yes. Okay, so soda for you to top it with. There you go. There we go. There's one for you, sweetie. Thank you. One for me. One for Bruce. <laughs> All right. We're just going to top this off with a little bit of club soda. There we are. Perfect. Thank you so much. Check that out, you guys. Look how pretty that is. So you could definitely do something like this, especially if you did like a cauldron, you know, cauldron style with a little bit of dry ice in the bottom of it. And then you wanted to put maybe a couple of those uh, ping pong balls with the, <laughs> with the eyeballs on them, make them all creepy, you know. That'd be a, a lot of fun. It's be a great, look how beautiful that is. Look at this, you guys. Instagram. Mm. Uh, perfect little cocktail, you know, summertime, wintertime, whatever. Mm. Man, I love me some sangria. It's so good. It's dangerously good. Mm. All right, honey, let me finish yours. Give it a little stir for you. Thank you. Yes, yes, absolutely. Take that lime, squeeze it in there. If you want to add a little bit of uh, tartness to it, a little acidity, if you want to add Thank a little you. bit of uh, sweetness to it, you can take that orange, push it down in there. And you can also uh, do, you know, mm. like a couple of, uh, you can do like Ooh. cherries in there too. Yeah. So if you wanted to do like, you know, a couple cherries in there, that'd be perfect. Grant's it's going to soak fan. up. Yeah, I'm a big fan of those cherries, you know what I mean? Soak up that uh, that brandy, mm. you know, and and the wine. Mm. Cheers, cheers, everybody. cheers, you all. Cheers to a, a long, cheers. hard week. <laughs> In the beginning of a week, you know, what I mean, you deserve this, right? Mm -hmm. That is delicious. I'm yes, just gonna keep this. yes. Bruce is completely passed out right now in his little puppy bed. It's so cute. The cutest. But anyways, I would love for you guys to try out this uh, red wine punch bowl concoction uh, sangria. If you've never made one, um, you can see. I mean, it's super, super simple. It's like seven ingredients, you know, one of them being the club soda. Um, so if you have, you know, uh, an event you're going to host, whether it be, you know, this holiday or any holiday or whatever it might be for, you know, uh, consider – doing like a, like a Boda box, you know, I think that this is four bottles of wine for about $20 when it's not on sale. Um, you know, when it's on sale, it's like 16 bucks for four bottles of wine. And we use Boda box a lot in this house for all sorts of, you know, different cooking and wine renderings and so on and so forth. Uh, marinades list goes on and on and on. So that's obviously versus like what we actually drink is going to be from bottles. So, Anyways, um, make sure you guys hit that like, hit that subscribe, share the channel with your friends and family. Helps us out immensely. Um, also, if you have a uh, punch bowl type of cocktail that you enjoy to making for events or holidays and things like that, definitely share it with us in the comments. Uh, it goes out to other viewers. They want to see those fun things, too, and get good ideas. Um, you know, that's why we're here, this community. We uh, like to share a happy hour together. <laughs> so, anyways, we will see you guys next week, 3.30 Pacific Standard Time. Happy hour. We will be uh, 
doing some more fun cocktails, okay? And we will see you then. All right, thank you guys so much for joining us. All right, bye. Good job.